Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on one of the specific functions of an HTX powered radio. It's aimed at those of you that are relatively new to HTX, might be coming to HTX from FreeSky, Fataba, Spectrum, or maybe you're brand new to the hobby. Now there are links below to the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget you can find content by just looking for the thing you're interested in and adding Painless360 to your search term here on YouTube. So let's jump on the bench and let's talk about the topic for today. This time we're going to talk about something called special functions. If we go into the model menu, go across the right hand side, we have this thing called special functions. Now special functions is a little bit of a catch all. It's kind of just like a waste paper bin for all the stuff that the radio can do that kind of didn't sit anywhere else. And there's loads of different things that you can use it for. And what you can do is set up funky stuff. So let me show you a couple of examples. Uh, the first one, for example, we are, we're overriding channel three, which is the throttle channel, uh, when we flick a switch to go to minus 100, essentially a throttle cut. So that's a way that you can set up a throttle cut or do those kind of things. And I've shown that already in the series. However, there are other things you can do as well. So for example, if I touch the screen at the moment, it's not particularly loud, but if I turn up this rotary control that I've set on the volume, I can turn it up and down. And that's set here. So if I show you how I've set that up, this is a special function. The trigger is set to on, i.e. this is something that's on all the time. It's not related to a specific switch on the radio. The function is volume. The volume is controlled by S2, which is that rotary control I was turning uh, when we just played with it. And the last thing is we have to enable it. Let me show you kind of the other kinds of stuff that you can have in here. And again, realistically, with the exception of maybe setting up something like a throttle cut, you might never ever come and play with this stuff. So let's set up special function three and go through some of the options. So the trigger is what is actually going to trigger it. And it could be a um, particular switch. It could be a control. It could be a logical switch. Or there are some extra funky ones like on telemetry, things like that. So if we have on, for example, that means that there isn't a trigger. It's just on all the time. But let me just set it for a switch for now. Let me just choose the momentary switch and we'll select that. The function then, if you just scroll through this, you'll see all the different things that you can do. I'm not going to get too much into this, but let me talk about a few of the key ones. Override is the one that we've talked about already, where you can use it to override a channel value, essentially do things like a throttle cut, or maybe uh, override a channel so that the gear drops when a specific thing happens. We have the option to set up the trainer. So this is where you enable and disable the trainer function from if you want to connect this radio to another one, either if you're being taught something or if you are teaching somebody something. I have a function called instant trim. Instant trim is really good. What it does as you're flying around, maybe you're flying a fixed wing that doesn't have a flight controller. And normally the way you do it as you're flying around, you'd be touching the trims just to trim out any bias. Typically there's going to be a little bit of roll needed, maybe a couple of clicks of elevator trim just to get it flying lovely and neutral. However, as you're flying around, you can just flick the switch and with instant trim set as a special function, it will save the position of the controls into the trims instantly. And if you're doing a maiden, it's one of the tricks that I use, for example, if I'm not using a flight controller to automatically save those positions, I can fine tune it with the trims, but that will get me 95% of the way there just by flicking one switch as part of a flight. Then we have things like adjust set. We have things like volume. That's the one that we've just played with at the moment. Set that on a rotary control. We have the options to play sounds and play tracks. These are really handy because what it would allow you to do, let me show you that. So play sound, we have lots of different options here. So let's play robot. We'll just repeat it one time. We can do it more. So now when I flick that switch, it'll play a sound. And there's lots of others in there. 
I would recommend if you are interested in this, come into the special functions menu, add another special function and just have a goof around and see all the different options in there that you have, including stopping and starting your SD logs, playing background music, how the backlight's working, whether or not the touch screen is gonna be enabled. There's loads and loads of different stuff, but that's what special functions is. Most of the time, you're not going to play around with it, but actually there's a handful of things in here that can be really handy when you start to get really into HTX and want to set up the radio to be exactly the way you want it. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.